Mark Hill left one Antiques Roadshow guest gobsmacked as he revealed their designs for the Beatles logo could sell for thousands. The guest explained they knew the band well as they'd attended his 21st birthday but was never paid for his early designs. We're literally a stone's throw from Penny Lane and these guys need no introduction. So what's the story with this? Mark asked. The guest replied, well, the Beatles approached me and wanted logo for the drum. Mark interrupted, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're telling me you designed this logo? Correct, the guest replied. Just as Ringo Starr came in. They added it was in 1962 and when quizzed on how he met the Beatles, the guest elaborated, so I was quite close and they were all at my 21st and am a sign writer. Mark gasped, I see. So this isn't the logo we know with the drop T by Ivor are better. Pointing at the designs, he continued, we've got these little antennae here, so you were presumably playing on a beetle with the Beatles. It's interesting to note here that by this little bug logo, you've got Alter 2, and you've got little pencil drawings here. Was this you? No, that was either John, Lennon, or Paul, McCartney, the guest explained. And the alteration at the bottom. They had to do their bit didn't they? Don't miss. ITV crew told Get Lost by Angry Locals while filming new drama Van Der Valk, latest, Richard Hammond admits the Grant tour is becoming difficult for team, interview, Sunday brunch as Simon Rimmer airs concern as Tim Lovejoy admits I'm not alright, watch, Mark exclaimed, OK so that's a fantastic sign. We've got two banners, him presuming produced for drums. Correct and Ringo didn't want them on the drum in case it might interfere with recording, they had to be able to come off, the guest said, giving more insight. Mark continued, what we are effectively looking at here are the first ever loose produced for the Beatles with their band name on it. It's quite a pair of objects. Were you upset when it was replaced with a new logo with a drop T? The guest replied, not really, I was unbelievably busy. I was an unbelievably busy lad. It was just another job. They were just good mates at the time. And they didn't pay me I might add. They didn't pay you? Ever? Mark gasped. My feeling is that if these ever came up for auction, they'd fetch somewhere around £15,000. So 60 years later you finally get paid. The guest was gobsmacked as he joked, he'll finally get paid but I don't particularly want to sell them at the moment but who knows? I still like them, thank you for your time. Antiques Roadshow airs Sunday on BBC One at 8pm.